Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Alrighty, I'm fooling around in DCS and um, I wanted to talk about a mission I created a long time ago that's actually a lot of fun. And if you search back through my videos, you'll find that I did a little series on the mission editor and how to do some things in the mission editor. And um, I tend to still like this mission and I think it's a lot of fun. And it's something that uh, I thought would be kind of fun to do again. I believe it's this guy right here. Chaos Party. This is a mission I created that has, to me, it feels like a, a semi-dynamic mission. Because what's going on in here is you've got a variety of different aircraft on each side that you can fly. So initially, I created this mission by going through those videos. As you watch through them, you'll see. And then as I get new modules, I add them to this mission. And then I share this mission with my nephew and his friend. And we jump in, and uh, we just fly this mission and just keep shooting things until we've killed everything. And it's pretty cool. It's just a neat little way to, you know, to, to me it feels like an ever-evolving battlefield to in an extent. Um, I'm sure people can figure out even a better way to do this, but this is what I think it is, at least. Or I feel it's more of a semi-dynamic environment because as you kill different um, groups, other groups will spawn in, which is kind of cool. Let's turn this on. Get my dispenser up and running. And sometimes VR is a pain in the butt. There we go. Master arm. All right, this guy's probably going to take off first, aren't you? There he goes. So in this mission, there's my carrier, and then behind it. or off in the distance over there is a Russian carrier and it's doing its thing. It's the Ticonderoga there starting to shoot missiles at the incoming threats. So I'm going to kick this up a notch and let's get this thing going. And off we go. Alrighty, gear up. Set my flaps to auto. And let's get my stuff arranged here. Turn my helmet mounted or joint helmet mounted sight, whatever you want to call this thing. And uh, let's see what we've got. <clears throat> Looks like there's going to be a bunch of guys from all directions. So this is one of those crazy, just let's throw everything at you that we can. And uh, this mission was designed for two to three people, uh, two to three players, human players. So it's, I think it's a bit much at times for one person, because you will get a little bit overwhelmed. That's just what happens. Yep, we got a lot of stuff going on up ahead. And a lot of stuff coming from that way over there, too. <laughs> okay, that's ugly. Where is it? There's definitely some missiles in the air coming at me. Pretty sure I got my chaff and flare set up right. Still don't see them, but it looks like they're coming at me from dead ahead here. Oh, there it is. There's a red dot there. And there's another one up in the air now. And 
and it got me. I'm not so good at evading. R33. But anyway, you die, and you just jump back in and go, okay, let's choose an F16 now. F16. Wait. That's a Hornet again. I picked the wrong one. Regardless. And we'll do some spam ramming here. Take care of a couple of these guys right now. Ooh, the ship took care of that guy. Oh, there's a MiG-21. He looks like he needs some attention. Oh, he got me. Again, there's a lot going on here. So, choose slot. Oh, I picked the F-18 above that, not the F-16. And... Air to air. Foresight. And let's turn on that helmet-mounted queuing system. Let's take care of him. Uh-oh, and he's going to get me. Yeah, that didn't work out so well. Going down. Yeah, he took out my uh, <laughs> my tail fin. And who said they did model the damage in the F-16? So anyway, choose slot. Let's go back over here. We'll jump into a Tomcat this time. And uh, dirt, 12 o'clock. And nails, 8 o'clock. And nails, 7 o'clock. Bandit, TU-160, 11 o'clock. 9 miles, nails, 10 o'clock. And shit, spike, 9 o'clock. And, um, a spike, 8 o'clock. Mud, 10 o'clock. Uh, spike, 3 o'clock. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot, uh -oh. break left. Singer, 12 o'clock. Spike, he's on a 4 o'clock. It what? It missed! Missile, 12 o'clock. Nice. Ah, break light! There's a bandit, flanker, 12 o'clock, 4 miles. Well, he's going down. Flash. And we got a MIG down. over there. Missile miss. 221s. Yep, that's a spike, 7 o'clock. Missile, 1 o'clock. Hot, break left. Oh shit. We've got a bandit. Fish bed, 12 o'clock. Two miles. Spike, 12 o'clock. Nice to miss me. There is a bandit. Fish bed, 12 o'clock. Two miles. Where'd he go? Missile, missile, 12 o'clock. Hot. Missile, uh -oh. 12 o'clock. Hot. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot. Missile miss. And there's one there. 12 o'clock. Mud spike. Ooh, he, he dodged that one. Is down. Singer, 12 o'clock. Spike, 9 o'clock. Fish bed, 12 o'clock high. Close yeah, dodge in. that. There you go. Uh oh. R33. Uh oh, flanker. There's just so much going on here. Spike, 10 o'clock. Mirage. Damn it. See what I mean? There's just a lot going on. Spike, 11 o'clock. There's another one out there, too. Uh-oh. There's a Matra. Spike, 1 o'clock. Missile, 1 o'clock. Hot. And Missile, there's an Elmo. Oh, snap. Missile, 10 o'clock high. Hot. Missile, Missile, 1 o'clock high. Hot. <sighs> Man, MiG-31s too. What a pain in the ass. Bandit is 
down. Uh oh. Missile missed. Of course it did. Missile missed. Bandit. MiG 31. 12 o'clock. Four miles. And then the nice thing is. As you take these flights out, I have messages that pop up and tell you, you know, oh no, there's more coming or something, you know? Six o'clock. This one's getting a little messy. And it's a little noisy in here. Oh shit, that flight of flankers is down. Now there's more to come. That was a scripted response I put in there. So as one flight goes down, another one takes its place and starts coming in from a different direction. Pretty cool stuff. But again, this feels like a semi-dynamic environment, you know? Things are happening around you. You feel like you're part of a, a bigger mission? Spike, 12 o'clock. Yep. There's that mirage that come out of nowhere. Two of them. Missile, 6 o'clock. Hot. Wilco. Get him off our back. Okay, he's locked. The missile missed. That one shouldn't. Missile, 12 o'clock. Hot. Break left. Somebody got that mirage, thank God. Mirage, one o'clock, two miles. Slammed. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. I am lagging a little bit. There's a lot of stuff going on, though. That's the other thing in my videos recently. I've noticed that what I'm recording and what ends up being the recorded product actually looks laggier than what I'm experiencing as I'm recording it, if that makes sense. But anyway, as you can see, this is pretty cool because you can just continue to blast things out of the sky with you and your friends. And as you die, just jump into another one. And then if you get bored... If you get bored, and we do sometimes, you know, we can jump out and go choose coalition and choose the red side, and now I can just jump in a flanker, take over, turn on the uh, helmet-mounted sight, and look for somebody to shoot at. Launch authorized. Boom. Let's take out that Apache. Slam. And then we could start taking out each other because it's fun. Yeah, it looks like he got that one. But again, this is what you can do. And again, it feels like a semi-dynamic environment because it's a battlefield there's stuff going on more stuff keeps coming it's not just a single mission it's let's keep this whole area safe and free of threats and uh, the, the cool part is it lets you get practice with all the different modules that you have so if I go back and then I pick the blue side there's all the modules I own. And there's even more that I need to add to it. Like, I'm going to add the uh, Huey, the KA-50, you know what I mean? Like, 
you could just sit here and have fun. You know, pick things that you like and you like to fly and fly them with your friends, man. Just make this like turkey shoot environment. Yeah, I forget. There we go. Guess it helps if I hit the master arm. It's been a while since I touched my Harrier. Hopefully that takes care of that MiG-31. But again, feel free to play with your stuff. You know what I mean? Any of the modules that you've got, throw it in here, man. Have some fun with it. Have at it. I plan on expanding this and adding a bunch more uh, round targets to decimate as well. That was my original intention. I just never got around to it. Uh, now that I'm playing around with this again, I'm probably going to add some ground targets off in the distance. Like, this is our base over here. That's our carrier over there. But off in the distance over this way like way ahead on that peninsula over there on that edge of the coast is where I wanted to put a bunch of uh, enemy air to ground stuff and then there's this carrier out here this guy's chucking missiles at everybody that's the uh, Russian carrier but again the only thing you gotta watch out for more than anything is uh, as you do this you know, the more objects you add, the, the more it pretty much has an impact on your performance at times. Like, I'm noticing a little bit of lag right now, too, that I'm not all too happy about. This guy's going to get me right now. Or maybe not. If he don't, that ship over there is going to launch something at me and fuck me up, though. Pow, got him. See, even a Harrier can be useful for air-to-air -air at times. can certainly be fun. Yeah, so I think I put an airbase out at the edge over here somewhere with some targets. And I'm going to put more targets over there that you've got to get to and not get... Look, more bandits incoming. You can't kill us all. That was another thing I put in there. So again, just a small example of what you can do. And uh, again, I don't know why you wouldn't want to, to be honest. This is super fun stuff. And uh, one of the benefits of DCS is the fact that you can create your own missions, you can create your own fun, and you are the master of your own destiny in DCS world, for the most part. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I put something out here on the edge. Look at all that stuff in the air over there. That's that carrier just chucking missiles like crazy. Yeah, I think it's way out in the distance. Actually, I think it's way out there. Where I put stuff. But again, it's something I'm still tweaking to, you know? So give it a shot, guys. Don't be afraid to go into Mission Editor and create your own thing. I mean, go back through my videos and uh, start looking at those Mission Editor videos. There's a lot of great information in there. How to set up a flight and then how to set up the next flight to spawn after it. Oh, there's a couple F5s. Yeah, those missiles are going to come in. They're probably going to nail me. Yeah, there's some stuff on the ground over here. Holy hell. 
F5s, TU-22s, MiG, what, MiG-19s out there? That's looking ugly. I forget all the HUD modes. I'm just kind of cycling through things here because I don't remember. I haven't done air to air in this thing in forever. What am I doing to get that back? Yeah, I'm just cycling HUD modes for fun. There we go. There we go. Who says you can't have fun in air-to-air -air in a Harrier? Anything's possible. And then again, there's stuff over here that needs taken out on the ground. Just a couple of things. I didn't put a lot of stuff in there, but... You can. That's the key thing. I forget how to re-engage a target. There we go. That's weird. I hit that same button. There we go. Uh-oh. That's not good. Pull up, pull up. Somebody's shooting behind me. Roll out, roll out. Oh, look at that. I'm going to hit that to you. Ha-ha. Pow. Slam. Who said you can't use air to air for air to ground? So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. That's kind of a prime example of how you can create a really nice semi dynamic environment to play around in with you and your friends and uh, maximize having fun with the modules that you have, man. Pretty cool stuff. So give it a shot, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, as always, please subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and until next time.